Most smaller guards find problems in the paint due to their smaller stature in comparison to the other players on the court. They're too afraid to get blocked and end up sticking to jump shots. The problem with that is it makes life easy for the defense. They know as long as they don't give you a shot, they can always give up a driving lane. Most guards that can finish in the paint have to either be smart or freakishly athletic. In this video, I'm going to provide you with knowledge and techniques that will allow you to become a better finisher using either of those methods. One mistake a lot of smaller guards make is they go too deep. They get too far in the paint and get swatted because there's a 7 footer right there and they have no shifty finishes. Every guard should be able to shoot their floaters and runners well. Why go into the paint when you can just put it over the top of your defender? If you're going to go deep, you better know what move you're going to pull out or just try to get some contact and go to the line. That leads into my next point, you shouldn't be afraid to go in either. Play with confidence, you're going to automatically start to play better. As long as you know what you're doing, anyone can finish inside. Next obvious one, you should be able to finish with either hand. I won't dwell on this one too long, but being able to finish with either hand increases our versatility, which is always good. Another versatility based tip, you should always have a variety of finishes you're able to use for each scenario. If I'm coming in from the left wing, I should be able to float it up, or hang for a reverse, or step up for an open layup, or gear up back towards the inside. Through the legs. Maybe not that one, but you get the idea. Having a multitude of finishes makes it harder for your defender to predict your movement. Another important thing to bring up is if you're flying towards the rim on a fast break, you're going to need a soft touch to float that puppy in. You don't want to run the full 94 just to chuck the ball into another dimension off the backboard. This is the one circumstance I'd recommend shifting your momentum up as much as possible. Killing some of that forward momentum will make the shot easier and since you're on a break, hopefully you have enough time to avoid the Gotcha, bitch! That brings me to my next point. Under most circumstances, get the ball on the backboard or rim as quickly as possible. That means attack directly and don't waste too much time elevating. Now you might be thinking, but I'm smaller than most of the defense. How the hell am I going to get it past them without getting over them? Which is a valid point. There's a balance on how much you want to get up. The reason for that is because as soon as the ball hits the backboard or rim, the defender can't do a thing about it. It's a goaltend and automatic two points for your team if they touch it. Which is why you should be able to finish low off the backboard just as well as high. That leads me to my next point. Know your angles. You should be able to put the ball on any part of the backboard and have to spin to put it in. The ability to do this will allow you to avoid the defense much better and have more options on your finishing. Final piece of advice, you don't have to charge in at top speed every time. Taking it slow can make options open up for you, but it can also close them. You don't want a 3 second violation, so be smart about it. Knowing your speed is something you'll figure out with lots of time and practice. And that's all I got for you guys in this one. I'll run the outro and the usual bloopers, but I don't have much else to say for this video. Get in the lab, get to work. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Final piece of advice, you don't have to change in... on your friendship. Taking it slow can make options open up for you, however, top speed every time. You can take it slow, top speed every time. Under most circumstances, get the ball on the backboard or on the rim as quick. That brings me to my next point.